This is an old video which I've recently retrieved, but I think the lesson within it could be useful. If we hold a light coloured ball against a dark background and then video it as it falls, we can see almost nothing. If we slow the video down, then we can see that the ball accelerates under the force of gravity. If we reverse that and then play it again frame by frame, we can see that the distance the ball falls every frame, which is every 1 25th of a second, increases each frame. If we eliminate the blurring around each image, place all of those images onto one frame and then mark the centres of each image, we can see that effect more clearly. If we throw the ball horizontally from about the same height, then again it's difficult to see. With the video slowed down, we can see that the path is curved as the ball is accelerated vertically. The precise track is more obvious if we put all of the images onto one still. If we then combine that still with the first one we took of vertical motion onto one photograph, the comparative heights at each frame can be seen. If we draw lines across, you can see that the centre of one ball matches the centre of the same ball thrown sideways. The key point is that vertical and horizontal motion are independent of one another. The fact that the ball is thrown sideways makes absolutely no difference to how quickly it falls. If we have a projectile, in this case the same ball, and throw it sideways and upwards, the path is clearly curved. If we look at that more slowly, you can see that it rises, slowing down against gravity, and then falls, speeding up. If we look at that pattern against a grid of measurement, then you might be able to see that the upwards and downwards movement is symmetrical, the downward path is the reflection of the upward path, the sideways motion is steady. If we place all of the images onto one frame, the first thing you can see is the shape of the curve, which is parabolic. The yellow dots mark the centre of each image. If through these we draw parallel yellow lines, then you can see that they are equal distances apart. This shows that the horizontal velocity is constant. This would always be the case for a projectile, providing that friction is negligible. The vertical motion follows exactly the same pattern as it would for something thrown vertically upwards. Here again, the horizontal motion is entirely independent of the vertical motion. Thank you for watching. Many more videos and notes are available at www.physics.org.